Hello, so I have a game to share for today and it's called Dysphoria and it's an autobiographical game. Um, the designer was someone who went through hormone replacement therapy so um, it's about her, her journey I guess through all of that and it was just extremely well done. I, I really really liked it. Um, so, the game, it's basically four different chapters, and um, each chapter is subdivided into little, like, mini-games. It's very similar to, I don't know if you guys have Wii, if you've played WarioWare, but kind of like these micro-type games that, um, but I, I really like them in this case because they're all full of metaphors and they come up. I have to play, but or play the game first before you, before you listen to this whole thing. Um, there'll be a link in the description. But um, yeah, she uses like certain games will kind of come up again later, like after time has passed, and you get to see like how things have changed over time, and it, it's just very good storytelling, and. Um, and I like metaphors, and I don't know. it's like totally a game I would make. I don't know, and it is actually kind of similar because I, I was kind of doing that before with. Um, I was turning Aww. all of my dance videos into little micro games and having that kind of like reflect my life or whatever. But anyways, this person's game, Dysphoria. Um, I really like it. It's all. Um, graphics are very low but the aesthetics very high so um it's just pixels big blocky pixels it actually enhances the theme though of the game because it kind of goes with the whole like gender identity and not like fitting you'll see there's a couple um mini games where you're this like tetris looking block thing and you're trying to get through this space that you can't get through which is this idea of not not feeling right in the body that you have or whatever and I don't know it just went really well and I, I like too with the um, the graphics everything was like a solid color so everything contrasted very well and just I liked the, the color palette <laughs> was good um I guess I to mention oh yeah and then with sounds um, the designer used, I'm assuming, their own voice, which I like too because it just made it so much more personal because it's like a little like psh or like bunk sounds or whatever all from the person, which it's, it's their story and it's their sounds and it's just like, and it's their game, it's like all of them and I feel like after I played it I just like shared something with them. I don't know, it was really bondy. I liked it. I don't know the person, but I feel like I got to see things through their eyes and it was just it's very cool. It's kind of like the pinnacle of like what like indie games should be is kind of like the sharing of experience. Ah, uh, it's so annoying because it's on it's on new grounds or whatever. And I was looking at some of the comments and people like, oh, this is not a game and it should just be like an animation or something. And, like, completely defeats the purpose if it's just an animation. The whole point it's not like a, a typical game where there's like the points or like some sort of like rule or whatever. And ultimate goal. There is an ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to like share this experience with other people. It's not to like just the goal is outside of the game. It's not inside the game kind of thing. It's just you have to look at it that way. And then it is, it is a game in a way because it's interactive and all that. I don't know, that's just how I look at it. I guess you could call it interactive narrative. You don't want to call it a game, but it doesn't really matter what you label it as. It's awesome. So <laughs> that's my take on that whole thing. What else? Um, oh yeah, uh, just my favorite part, I think, was... Um, Again, earlier I mentioned how there's the they have those micro games and they'll kind of come up again later. So it's like the you get to see how things have changed, right? And it, I don't know. It brings it brings it together so it's more cohesive. 
But um, in the beginning, it was talking about how when she's like walked by people, they'd always address her as like sir or whatever. So there's like three little people, and you walk by, and it's like sir, and then it has like a little translucent text that she's saying, and she's correcting them like ma'am, but it's like not so visible. So it's like sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, ma as she's walking by, and then the end after like everything. After all the issues, all the hardships, and all, and it's finally starts to get better. She gains all this confidence and everything. It's like someone says, "Sir," and then she's like, "Ma'am," and it's like, yeah. <laughs> it like knocks, knocks the other person away, and it's just like the most like satisfying little sound. Like that's what's so cool is it's like such a small little sound, but it was so satisfying. It's just like ah, like she has so much more confidence now and like feels so good about herself and it was just like I don't know it was very heartwarming I, and uplifting I really liked it um and it's not something that I have any experience with so it's like cause yeah but it's like I still can like I didn't I mean there are common themes of like even if you haven't gone through like hormonal like gender changing things it's still like the idea of like not being comfortable with yourself and things like that that everybody has experienced and it's just like i don't know there's there's ways that i think anyone can really relate to this game so it's definitely worth playing um but, and i like that she mixed in some humor too i don't know if it was really meant to be humorous but i thought it was humorous there's um one part where it's like when she's first taking the f like estrogen of some sort. Um, beep, beep. I was like saying that like her boobs are sore and you have to navigate around these little like like spiky things or whatever you want to call them. Which just reminds me of like me whenever I'm like like around before my period I'm just like force field like don't come near me at all. So I'm just like I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of that, like, navigating around and making sure to, like, I don't know. It was funny. Whatever. Anyways, silly things. Um, I don't know. It, it just was good. And just, like, every, you felt like you are there, like, every little step of the way. And I mean, I know it's, like, reduced down to just, like, a two-second, three-second little game thing, but you still feel like you got, like a good idea of kind of the experience, or not where I did. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it was just very cool, very good, good, good narrative and good sharing of an experience. But yeah, another thing, I also really like that she put like a disclaimer in the beginning that was just like, this is just an autobiographical thing and it's just this is my experience, it's not to like say what everybody's experience was, and I think that that was kind of, I, I like that, I like when people don't like, because there aren't a lot of games that are like this, and it, it, so people don't have a lot of experience in sort of things, I like that she's not saying like, this is the way it is, or everybody is, I'm just saying, this is my thing and I'm just sharing it, it's just like, I don't know, I like the attitude of that, and I don't know, I like this person, I haven't met them, but I feel like they're pretty cool. Um. Yeah, nice. Check it out. Well, you hopefully already did before you listen to this, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's a cool game. This for you.